Hi, good morning students. Welcome to my channel. Today I am starting fundamentals of the physics. Okay. From the basics of the physics. But normally what we think is we will learn physics from the books. It's not so. Physics is simply it is nature. You observe the nature. You write what are the observation you have identified on your notebook. The observation what you are identifying in the nature itself is a physics. Okay. For example, you take this pen. It has some mass, no? Yes, it has some mass. And it has some length also. Okay. And I will ask what is the time now? It may be around 7 o'clock time. So this mass, length and time. Three, three quantities. I am calling them as a fundamental quantities. Okay. Why we need a fundamental quantities? First, the physics means it is some kind of language. For any language, you take English language, A, B, C, D, alphabets are there. Similarly, for physics also, just like alphabets, we need some fundamental quantities. So, entire physics, you will discuss in terms of these fundamental quantities. That is the reason we are calling this as a fundamental quantities or base quantities. Agree? Now, I told three quantities, no? Mass, length and time. But total in the entire physics, there are seven fundamental quantities are there. So, to describe in physics any topic, you have to use the seven fundamental quantities. Okay? So, I will again repeat the first three fundamental quantities. One is mass, length, time. Okay? Actually, these three mostly we will use in mechanics, just like motion of a body, one dimension or two dimension, or rotational motion, whatever it is. If you go still deep into the physics, you see the light, you are seeing the light intensity, no? So, luminous intensity, means different light has different intensity, no? So, luminous intensity also one of the fundamental quantity, okay? For light to come what we need current, no? Electric current. So, electric current also a fundamental quantity, agree? What else more we have here atmosphere, no environment, air is there, no air, it composed of nitrogen, oxygen, all inert gases, no? So for gases also, amount of substance, that is also fundamental quantity, okay? Now what else is there? We are checking temperature, no? What is the temperature, we will get fever or whatever you are touching in cold season, hot season, temperature. Thermodynamic temperature, also fundamental quantity. So, I will summarize what are the fundamental quantities. First one is mass, second one is length, time, luminous intensity, thermodynamic temperature, electric current and what else? Amount of substance. Okay. Total seven are fundamental quantities. Agree? Now, to measure them, basically fundamental quantities, these are called physical quantity which you can physically see, which you can measure. Just like its mass you can measure, length you can measure, time you can measure, uh, amount of substance you can measure, lumen intensity you can measure, electric current you can measure. Okay, these are the physical, physical you are observing, physical you are measuring. Okay, so they should have a unit. What is meant by unit in everybody we think are a unit care? What is meant by unit? Unit is a, a some fundamental number, whatever, some fundamental quantity, it has some minimum number, let it be. Huh? Suppose mass is there. Okay, today I am purchasing some 5 kg rice. Okay. So kg kilogram is a unit for the mass. Suppose length, this length may be 10 centimeter, or if you take one meter, no. My height is maybe 1.7 meter. 
so meter meter is a unit for the length and time you are seeing what is the time now no but the basic unit is a second so for mass length and time so for mass the unit is kilogram length unit is meter time second is unit okay now these three quantities mass length and time i am giving three units there is one system called mks system m means meter k means kilogram s means second so in mk system it will give the units for mass length and time okay so only for three quantities only mk system it will give its units other system cgs system c means centimeter g means gram s means again second in mks system and cgs system for the time the unit is same that is second okay for mass mk system kilogram for cgs system gram similarly for length in mk system meter cgs system centimeter you understanding no okay now i will give some relation between the kilogram and gram these are trivial only still we have to talk about them 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters okay why i am telling this when you are adding two quantities maybe 2 kg rice plus 4 kg 2 plus 4 6 you can write sometimes they may give like this 2 kg plus 500 grams you cannot add you have to bring two quantities in the same system either it is mks either otherwise cgs system so 2 kg plus 500 grams i will convert 500 grams into kg so 500 gram is simply half kg no that is 0.5 kg so 2 kg plus 0.5 kg 2.5 kg understand no so when you are adding two quantities of the same unit they should be in the same system either mks system or either in cgs system similarly i will give one more example for addition of two quantities suppose length i am taking some 2 meter plus 50 centimeter same thing we cannot add because this is meter that is centimeter no so i am converting 50 centimeter into meters 50 centimeter means half meter that is nothing but 0 0.5 meter so now i can very well add 2 meter plus 0.5 meter equal to 2.5 meter understand no so these are the fundamentals in the physics you should know when you are going deep into the physics okay but so far i discussing mks system and cgs system only three quantities no but in fact there are seven quantities are there where is the system that can describe this all seven physical quantities okay for that only we are going for si system that is system of international it contains all seven physical quantities means all seven fundamental quantities same i am repeating that is mass length time amount of substance luminous intensity thermodynamic temperature and electric current okay so before going for remaining four quantities also to describe the units of the remaining four quantities now i am finishing with this 
three physical qualities in the next class in the next video i will discuss about the remaining four fundamental qualities till then bye bye keep watching